Mimi, Melissa, I stand here net beside you in front of our friends, our family and our loved ones. I am honored and proud to be able to call you my wife. The second sign came when I understood how much you understood me. You accept me for my weird mind, my juvenile spirit, my playful soul, but you take me as I am. Not only do you accept me, but you embrace me. The third sign came when you helped me answer a question I'd been battling with for a long time. I was struggling to understand what it meant to be a man, and when I met you, it all fell into place. I can still remember that day, her walking towards me in the playground to tell me that we were going to be friends. Since then, our friendship grew into a sisterhood, a bond that is so strong that oftentimes we get mistaken as sisters. When we were kids, her favorite cereal was called Common Sense, because she was so convinced that by eating it, she would gain more common sense. She's an amazing dancer, and that we all know, as that is how she found her Prince Charming, Sunny. For those of you who don't know how they met, let me tell you what happened. I was lucky enough to be there the very first day these two bumped into each other. Sonny invited me out for a house party. I knew nobody. We walked through the door, he laid eyes on Mimi, and forgot I existed. So I left, I went home. Sonny came home at 5 p.m. the next day. And the first thing he told me is, I've met my wife. And let me tell you something, when Sonny puts his mind to something, he clearly gets it done. I suspect it's because he found the only woman in London to make him feel tall. I can't wait for our story to grow. I love you so much. Thank you for putting up with me forever yours. My darling Sunny, I love your massive heart that's always willing to help others without reservation. I have the greatest admiration for your quiet strength and endless patience, mostly towards me. <laughs> I love your never-ending efforts to always be the best you can be or your hilarious ambition to want to become every profession you end up watching on TV. But above that, your passion to always dream big. I want to thank you because without fail, you have reminded me that I am loved by you every single day. Uh, here's a little present for you, both something practical and useful. Practical to help with Kenyan timing. <laughs> and useful to keep track of your fitness. With all the dancing you'll be doing tonight. So I love you. When you, Sunny, brought Mimi to us in December uh, 2017, you told me, Mom, I think she's the one. Mimi, you told me that on your second date, Sunny said to you, I want to have four children. <laughs> that apparently did not scare you off at all. You have given us a beautiful and charming grandson, Caleb. Hard work and expense, high expenses notwithstanding, we look forward to future grandchildren. Mimi, I promise 
to annoy you every day. <laughs> but only in the way that makes you laugh and smile. Most importantly, I promise to put you, Caleb, and all our future kids. <laughs> at the very front of my thoughts, my prayers, and my actions. In front of all these people today, I feel so honored that you chose me to spend the rest of your life with you. Sonny, I am so in love with you. And I know that being in love is a temporary madness. Anyone can be in love. But love itself is what's left over when being in love has burnt away. But when that happens, I know the only regret I'll ever have is that I didn't meet you sooner because the rest of my life isn't enough to spend it with you. Mimi, Wewe, forever. <laughs> Nakupenda. Okay, congratulations, Sonny and Melissa. Let us ask God our Father to bless Sonny and Melissa who are now married. And may God, the Almighty Father, keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and be with you always in your home. I want to say that we are extremely proud to bear witness to the graceful and beautiful woman, wife and mother that you have become. Both of you, when you're together, you bring balance. You're both what you want, but you're also both what you need. Congratulations on your wedding and wishing you a happy life together. Sonny and Melissa, congratulations. Thank you and God bless you. No English dictionary has been able to explain the difference between two words, complete and finished. Some people say there is no difference, but there is. When you marry the right woman, you are complete. When you marry a wrong woman, you are finished. And if you marry a wife who likes shopping, you are completely finished.